Now you can see that the logo is Hi, in this video I will show you how you can change your Windows 11 boot up logo to a custom logo. You can do the same with the Windows 10 too. I am showing it in the Windows 11 right now. So follow the steps. And so in case you want uh, your Windows logo back then I will show you at the end of the video how you can revert the process and get back your uh, default Windows logo. So before starting, make sure that you have the basic knowledge of Windows, uh, the computer, uh, how you can make the changes with the BIOS and how you can make changes with the, the command files. Mm -hmm. So before you start, you have to check whether your Windows 11 is installed in UEFI mode. This process is possible only if you install the Windows 11 in UEFI mode. The BIOS mode should be UEFI. If you haven't done that, you have to reinstall the Windows 11 or Windows 10 in UEFI. Then you have to do the process. So first you have to go and how you can check the UEFI mode. Just go to the system information. From here, just check. Here you can see that this is UEFI. So make sure that your Windows 11 or Windows 10 is installed in UEFI mode. So you can close it now. Now you have to restart your system in BIOS mode. For that, just click on Windows button. From here, take restart. Press and hold the shift button and click restart. Once it is restarted, you will get the window like what you see on the screen right now. Now you have to follow the steps which I do in this section. So let's start. Watch carefully. Now just click on uh, troubleshoot. This one. From here, just go to advanced option. From here you will see UEFI firmware settings. Just click on that and then click restart now as you can see that right now i am inside the bias the bias might be different from uh, system to system and the hardware to hardware uh, the uh, ui will be different but the settings and the features will be all same so uh, make sure that you don't get confused with this uh, bios setup this is the BIOS setup of Dell uh, which I am using. The other systems will uh, have a different kind of BIOS setups and uh, the features will be the same. As I said you have to turn off the secure boot. The secure boot is in my boot configuration in my uh, this particular BIOS setup but that might be different in your case it might be in the security tab or any other tab. Right now in this BIOS this is inside uh, the boot configuration. As you can see that secure boot is here I'm just turning it off right now you can see that secure boot enable secure boot this is all enabled so I have to turn it off right now I have turned it off next you have to save the settings and have to restart the system that also will be different from uh, BIOS to BIOS. Right now I can here apply the changes. It will ask if you want to apply the changes. Uh, you click on yes. I'm just exiting it. Once after restarting, you have to go to this link. This is a github link from where you have to download a file, a zip file. This is it. You have to download that. I will share the link in the description or I will share uh, the files directly. So you can download it from there. I am just downloading the file from here. So 
So once that is downloaded, then go and extract that file. Just extract it. Now I have extracted it. This is the file. And uh, next what you have to do is like change the view uh, from listing to the tile folder. You can see that there are there is one uh, BMB file here and there are some other files. Now what I am going to do is I am going to change uh, the logo the Windows default logo to my ring bell logo. So for that first you have to create a logo with the same size of this uh, BMB file. So this is my logo. I am just opening it in uh, paint. Here you can see that I have saved it as splash.bmb. Now what you have to do is you just copy that file and replace this with the other one. Just paste it here. So and replace the file. Now that part is done. Now next part is just run this setup.exe as administrator. Just run it. Then you have to press I button to install. Now after that just close down all the window. Close everything and now you can restart your system. Now after that I am going to restart the system. Let's see how it will look. I am just restarting it. Now you can see that the logo is ring bell. Now if you want to reverse the process, if you want the Windows logo back again then go back to the same file then run the setup again and from here just click on R that is will remove everything. Now click on enter. Now you can check that your logo will be back again.